All right, just going to do a quick little monologue on the double standards and selective su alleged support of free speech by the Talmudic Judeo Satanists. And before anyone wants to call me a racist or an anti Semite or Nazi or whatever else, I've already clarified my stance numerous other times. So if, if someone still accused me of that, you're just a liar and a false accuser. So uh, I'm not going to bother trying to clarify my stance with somebody, essentially with some hyper Zionistic individual who is just obsessed with, with making anybody an anti Semite who they don't agree with. So I've already clarified my stance on Israel. I'm not going to say it again because uh, I've already done it quite a long, quite enough times that anybody who still accuses me of being some kind of racist is just a false accuser. But anyway, the point is, is that the double standards of the Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby re regarding free speech have been laid bare on my channel in many videos in the past. But essentially, what it, it what it comes down to for those who are kind of new to all this is they'll allegedly support free speech, but you see there's kind of a twist to it because they only support freedom of speech if it's something they, they would agree with. And this is kind of more true of a lot of the hyper, hyper Zionistic individuals who just essentially think Israel is just always perfect and everything. And again, I've already clarified my stance that I support racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land. I don't support the false religion of Judaism. I've covered this in other videos. Uh, and in fact, it's this idea of Israel always being perfect is not true scripturally because they're, if anything, they're the furthest thing from being perfect. Hence the time of Jacob's trouble, why God has to pour out a judgment for them, uh, against them for seven years to straighten them out. Side issue here, I'm not going to go up down that rabbit trail. But essentially, the, the alleged support of free speech by the Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby is kind of summed up like this. Uh, when Charlie Hebdo came out, and I'm not, I'm not endorsing Charlie Hebdo either, they're a bunch of godless secularists. But when they came out and made cartoons making fun of, the, of Islam's blasphemous prophet, a blasphemous false prophet, Muhammad, of course, a lot of these Talmudic Judeo hyper Zionist, you know, Satanists basically came out and uh, supported it. And, 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 you know, I don't have any issue with that because Islam is a, a cult and, Islam, and, and Muhammad was a devil possessed pervert. Okay, so I want to make that very clear. But it's free speech. I, I agree with that. But then uh, if that same publishing uh, company were to come out and make cartoons making fun of Judaism, guess what? We want to shut that person down. And if you don't, uh, if you think I'm just making that up, well, the New York Times published cartoons making fun of Judaism, and a lot of these same hyper Zionistic Jews came out and essentially wanted censorship. Because what? It's only free speech when they agree with it. If it's something they don't agree with, well, then we got to shut them down. We got to silence their free speech, just like the Nazis or communists would. Which is very ironic how similar they are in terms of their tactics of shutting down. Uh, but, but by the way, too, when it comes to shutting down free speech, this has been the consistent record of the Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby since the days of the uh, apostles in the book of Acts. So uh, it's nothing new, but it's hypocritical and it's selective. It's free speech when, they, when we uh, agree with it, like as in drawing cartoons of Islam's blasphemous pervert false prophet Muhammad. But we want censorship if that same person would draw a cartoon making fun of our blasphemous unholy Talmud. So uh, I've harped on that before, so I'm not going to make this thing up too much of a monologue you know, in terms of being lengthwise. But the bottom line is, is that hypocrisy is rife in the Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby, as outlined, by the way, in Matthew 23. A bunch of hypocrites, which is basically what false, you know, false religion of Judaism consists of. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the brethren, goodbye.